Hey y'all, what's up? Jamie, that's me here. Welcome back to the channel, honey. And welcome back to another conversation about Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, their entire beef, and Miss Azalea Banks, okay? Now, Azalea Banks then came out and she had some things to say. Now, first of all, for the people that's been under a rock hiding somewhere, understand that Megan the Stallion recently dropped one of her newest tracks called His that I thoroughly enjoy, okay? She took a shot at quite a few people when she dropped this particular song, and she also took a shot at Nikki, okay? Nikki was one of the people she took a shot at as long as Party, some of the fans that's been out here, you know, hating, she took a shot at drake and whoever it's meant for okay she went over to the breakfast club and they asked her if it was for anybody in particular that she was trying to hit she said let them fly okay if you feel like um it hit you then holler it's for whoever it's for okay and nikki felt like it was for her because megan mentioned that these hoes ain't mad at her these hoes mad at megan's law so that was a line that you know stuck out that nikki felt like she was taking a direct shot at her and megan's law is about um a sex offenders basically okay there was um harm brought to a young lady she was um violated and she was unalived and um and not really a young lady this was a little girl basically this was like a seven-year-old girl that was violated okay by one of her neighbors and um the family didn't even know this person's criminal history and them being in or him being in their neighborhood. So because of what happened to that young uh, girl, um, it resulted in this law being put into place to where uh, SO individuals um, are required to go on a registry list. And that list is required to be public to everybody. Okay. Especially those people in the neighborhood that can get access so that they know who's coming into their neighborhood. Okay. Um, Nikki Minaj's husband has a, a history of attempting to RAPE or RAPE, not necessarily sure. I believe it's attempted RAPE. Um, a young lady, you know, back when he was younger, not sure exactly how young he was at the time. Nikki says that he was a teenager. Um, I haven't read the court documents to actually confirm which one is which. But I will say that when he was younger, you know, um, he attempted to uh, violate this young lady, which led to him eventually being um, charged for said crime. And because he was charged for that crime, he is required to um register wherever he goes as an so and because of that it puts nikki in a vulnerable spot because her address is now out there to the public and that's one of the reasons why megan was like girl don't be mad at me be mad at megan's law okay as to why your husband is in the situation that he is in today okay and also be mad at him for his own decisions period so once nikki learned that nikki was really upset she went on a rant for about 78 hours I ain't no telling how long girl she went on a rant taunting Megan trying to get Megan to come out and say some things you know um or at least trying to you know taunting Megan to get her to react because usually Nikki can get a reaction out of a lot of people i.e Cardi even if they don't add each other you could tell when they sub in each other same thing with Lotto she's typically able to get a reaction out of uh, most of the girlies but with Megan not so much okay um yeah, so Nikki wanted to go ahead and do this diss track. Now, mind you, this really isn't anything new, okay? Nikki has taken shots at Megan in the past, and Megan has definitely taken shots back at her because when I listened to Trauma Zine, I was like, ooh, is that for Nikki? I think she's talking about Nikki, so she definitely took shots at Nikki. But um, during the year of 2023, Megan went very silent after the Tory Lanez case, um, and everything was settled back in December of 2022. Megan went very quiet. She wasn't saying anything from what i understood Nicki minaj continued to take shots although megan was very quiet megan comes out at the top of 2024 and she drops her hiss song and she definitely takes a few shots at miss Nicki minaj okay Nicki drops this diss track which failed in my opinion a lot of people majority of people thought that it was completely whack not only did the song just not land the bars were weak the beat was not there and a lot of what she had to say she already tweeted it it out on Twitter so it was no wow factors at all a lot of the uh, barbs were upset because they wanted Megan to respond so bad but it was two things for me number one Megan's his track was a response 
that was a response, okay? Because the girl had been silent all 2023, and she finally popped out, and she said something. So that was the response to all of the shit that was said before. Nikki did not have to go and do a diss track. She chose to do a diss track, and that's what she ended up doing. And I figured Megan was not going to respond to her. Again, we don't know. You know, Nikki took a long time to respond to Remy Ma with Sheether. So maybe Megan may take, you know, even longer and get back to Nikki with another diss. We shall see. But at this time, I was not expecting Megan to respond to Nikki immediately at all because one like I said this was her response and then two this is a single for Megan why would I go and drop another one to overshadow the one that I already dropped why would I do that right so I didn't see her coming out with anything okay um as we progress forward and we're thinking that things are about to die down when it comes to this conversation regarding Nikki and um Megan we hear that Azalea Banks in her own timing is going to come to the front and she's going to share her very lengthy thoughts about what she believes about this Nicki Minaj and um Megan situation now I did hear some rumblings and conversations about Rock Nation and something about like I guess they wanted to sign Nikki at some point and they weren't able to or Nikki wants to be on their label in some fashion but things didn't work out for that to happen um I, I I wasn't too sure but I definitely heard some rumblings about that right next thing you know after Megan uh, after Nikki took these shots at Megan she also said that she has about four more songs in the chamber which is interesting for a person you feel is talentless can't rap can't rap on beat and all of that you have all of those songs prepared for her. But she made sure to mention that when it comes to Desiree Perez, who's also the CEO of Rock Nation, she says that in the next song that she drops, she'll be coming at Desiree because she feels as though Desiree is doing some underhanded things. She fired a lot of people that was unbeknownst to them. You know, the reasons as to why they were fired. She got a lot of people upset or whatever. And she's going to be coming at Desiree Perez for her latest actions and also for the fact that she's trying to replace her with Megan the Stallion. I'll never understand this thought of trying to replace somebody that's like sitting in a vp position at a job and you feel like you, and you've been there for like 20 years and you feel like they're trying to replace you not necessarily but it might be time for you to move on to other things why should somebody else sit around and continue to just sit at that job and who and then this is a person that aspires to be a vp in the vp position why should they just continue to sit there and not have hopes and dreams of wanting, you know, and, and achieving those hopes and dreams of being in that very position that you see. Like, why is that? It's not that they're trying to come up against you. They just have their own dreams and aspirations. And what other lane can they go to? Right. You know, when you put it in like the in that tense and you uh, in that sense, and you put it in like the corporate realm. Yeah, you probably could transitions from different from different companies, okay? If you're working for Wells Fargo and you can't get the opportunity, you might be able to go over to Bank of America and get the opportunity, right? Whereas in rap, you if you, all you do is rap, you ain't got no other opportunity. It's, I have nothing against you, okay? It's just that I work my ass off to get to this point, and at some point, I would like to, you know, achieve all that you have achieved. So instead of you reaching back to pull forward and assist somebody, you feel like people are trying to replace you, and a lot of times, it ain't got nothing to do with you. I hate when people put... Um, those type of things in their head it's like they have to always create an enemy or feel like everybody's coming up against them when I hear that and I see that for me it, it leads me to believe that this person has some unresolved um, trauma or something that they need to work through on their own some 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 healing or something because it's like everybody's not against you there are a there are a ton of people that are here for you okay anywho girl all in all i'm gonna shut my mouth up all right i just had to give y'all my little spiel real quick um about everything but um i do want to get into azalea banks and i want to check out what it is that she has to say she often brings us some interesting thoughts now she can be sometimes to me a little wacko at times but then you know everything she says ain't too bad you know what I'm saying sometimes she'd be making sense kind of like you know what's her name Candace Owens a lot of people don't like her but then sometimes it's like okay girl I see you you you, you, uh, you got a point there you know so I want to see um exactly what Azalea Banks has to say about this situation because I believe that she's also going to touch on Rock Nation as well so let us go ahead and get into that and let's check it out together all right hey guys so originally I was just going to stay out of this because it's just kind of like another day, another female rap beef, like, who really cares? But 
I think there's some interesting parts to this that everyone's missing. This isn't about Meg collabing with Cardi. This isn't about whatever stupid ass excuse Nikki's making about her telling her to get an abortion and have a drink or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. This is about Jay-Z. This is about Jay-Z. And excuse me, because I'm not trying to be fresh at all. But um, Jay-Z has this way of kind of like presenting himself in the culture as like this daddy warbucks kind of figure. And this is my own estimate and my own just kind of theory. I think that women who choose rap as a path maybe like six or seven times out of ten are lacking some sort of father figure in their life you know maybe the dad was absent maybe the father's deceased um just no male role models around um and it's not so much a show of bravado like hey i can do what the boys do it's more like an inadvertent inadvertent way of seeking closeness to men Interesting. now when you really 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 dig down into it nikki be like sweating jay in a different type of way like low-key she'd be like low-key on his dick like uh -uh. it's so funny i'm i'm really good at reading body language and stuff like that i could see in the feeling myself video like beyonce's kind of just like laughing at her like huh bitch yeah I'm like you wish and when they did the performance together <laughs> beyonce's like no i'm gonna wear pink you wear black she's like oh nico <laughs> it's funny it's funny like beyonce is just sunning her like uh -huh, like little bitch you know um jay-z has kind of positioned himself in this way where um, almost every type of female artist female urban artist feels like she needs his approval of sorts you know and mm. Nikki has low key like I could just feel that she's low key felt slighted by Jay just by just even by his association with Meek Mill, you know, and but she's also at the same time been trying to wiggle her way in like Nikki wants to be a Rock Nation girl bad. Mm. That's what this beef is about. She wants to be I've a Rock here. Nation girl so fucking bad. Like, you know, dating Nas like it's just like yeah when you really pay attention like her pitter pattering around and the way she's always like that's why Jane Clear's verse for your album is just like why you fucking care when did you get a Jay-Z verse on your fucking record like ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. you know what I'm saying but and on top of that when like, did she get did it's she get been one? years years since Jay Z has co signed, publicly co signed any female rapper. Yup. And the fact that. I was just thinking, yes. And the fact that, I feel like this is what she's finna say. The fact that Megan isn't technically signed as a actual artist, okay, for Rock Nation, she's signed under their management, that still kind of does give like a piece of the co sign that he supports. Megan and you have one of the biggest men in the industry who everybody looks to as the goat I believe he is even I'm not gonna say an idol for Lil Wayne but Lil Wayne heavily either looks up to or looked up to Jay-Z at one point I think Lil Wayne even wanted to sign to um Jay-Z at some point before he was given his own label Young Money so um 
like Jay is really that N-I-G-G-A to a lot of people. And I'm sure a lot of what he says or does is like bond. Word is bond. Action is bond for them. So to see that Nikki is always feeling like she's being threatened in the industry to be replaced or whatever. And you got this man who everybody looks to technically co-signing Megan. Yikes. I, I, could, like, I, I think she feels extremely threatened. For sure. Um, y'all don't have to like it, but that's what I do think. And then it's so interesting that Megan, it, I'm, it's not interesting that Megan is the one, but I guess to add a little more juice to it is the fact that Megan really got bars. Megan really do be rapping her stuff. No matter how much Nikki tries to say that party helped this girl write. This girl been writing and doing her own shit before she even came into the industry like that. So don't be trying to play on her. OK, don't be trying to play on her when you be having multiple writers in your uh in your list too, written by X, Y, Z. And I hope you ain't nobody to help you write that diss track because that was trash. You must put their name on there because you just wanted to get I, and I just hope you ain't had nobody to help you with that shit. Cause that, that was horrible. OK, and you should fire them. But anyway, girl, um, when it comes to Megan, Megan actually got bars. She's one that could really like go up against Nikki. I feel like Lotto is one of those people, too. You know, I feel like a lot will be having some some bars as well. I think the difference is that Nikki may be more clever with her bars. And I think sometimes when you have to sit and think about what a rapper says, like, oh, I see what she mean. Oh, you lied to the queen and you lied to the king. Gail. Oh, that was a bar. See how clever she was with that. Da 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 da. I think people a lot of people probably think like that's what makes her so awesome. Right. Other people may not be as so clever with their bars, but it doesn't mean that they ain't talented. So for him to co-sign that woman, Megan, and she actually can rap, baby. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure that lady feel away. But anyway, let's get back into what Azalea is saying. It's Megan. Like, it could be anybody. You know what I mean, it could be it could be fucking me. You know what I mean? It could be bad baby. It could be whoever. The fact that someone some girl that is not Nikki mm -hmm. got Jay Z's public cosign. Some female rapper that's not Nikki got Jay Z's public cosign. Makes Nikki jealous. It makes her feel jealous, um, and it makes her feel kind of alone. If you like, pay attention. Like when these things kind of happen, all of those like young money guys are like kind of know where to be found you know and i know she felt really really special when she aced that monster verse i'm sorry i just have to say she is not lying like them young money people are like literally nowhere to be found like they may pop out here or there but i don't think they really be out here defending her like she might want them to to come to her defense on things. You know what I'm saying? She has to look to people like Joe Budden that has the audience to sit up there and pander. OK, to her fans. But yikes. I mean, that's the little piece that she does get. Because mm -mm, Drake damn sure don't be defended. And, and Wayne being his own damn world, he'll pop out, get his chick, perform, love you, Nick, and go on back, out, go on back in the house. But I, th I think she may have gotten a little deluded. And, you know, Kanye's kind of just been like jiggling her back and forth or whatever. Like, <laughs> you know, uh, poor Kanye. Poor Kanye. He doesn't know how many women have like actually only entertained him because they wanted to <laughs> eventually get to Jay. Oh, wow. Whew. Okay, that's another wow. conversation for another day. But, um, yeah, Nikki felt like she was supposed to be embraced by him in some way or whatever. And just to see him not give a fuck that she's saying Meek Mill killed, like, yeah, just to see him not give a fuck that Meek Mill supposedly, allegedly, I don't know, beat her up. Um, and I'm not gonna go into that because, you know, I've had my 
fair share of just men going fucking insane. Mm -hmm. I definitely have a smart mouth, but I don't, I don't hit men because I'm of the belief that like if you hit a man, you should expect to be hit back. Way are I don't believe in that. Like, oh, I'm a girl shit. Like, no, keep your hands to your fucking self. Um, but yeah, I have been assaulted. Okay. So I don't want to unravel that ball of yarn. But um, I have to pause because two things came here. All right. First, when she brought up the Meek Mill situation and him allegedly assaulting, you know, Nicki Minaj, I definitely heard about that situation a while ago. So if that definitely is true that you harmed um, that Meek Mill harmed Nicki in any way, Nicki, you know what it feels like to be violated, you know, by a man in such manner. So for you to go into taunt Megan about whatever happened with her foot or something like that, like that's not cool, ma'am. That is not cool. And as Azalea Banks was talking, it sounds like she was saying that, you know, like, like, I guess like she'll hit a man or whatever the case was as far as herself. And it made me question, are you saying these things because you're saying that Nikki hit Meek Mill, which resulted in Meek Mill hitting her back? What is that about? Okay, now they do have a video that is swarming on social media on Twitter at this time. I'm not going to pull it up. Y'all could look for it uh, when Nikki was at the VMAs and it looks like she was kind of going off on someone, which was a guy. And then she like raises her hand at him um, or whatever the case was. And he kind of like turns off, turns around, kind of walks off a little bit. I wasn't sure if that was Kenneth or if that was somebody else. But the fans definitely caught it from the side of the stage. So um, this situation here with the Meek Mill kind of had my eyebrow raised just a little bit. But at the end of the day. It's like, Nikki, girl, why would you try and taunt this this woman about her situation as far as being popped in one foot, both foot, no foot, whatever foot that happened? And um, knowing that you had you've had your own share of experiences, even if it was just that one with me. But let's keep going, girl. That's messed up. Let's go. Nikki's mad. She's mad. That. And okay, I'm not even trying to diss Meg. But Meg isn't exact, like Meg's not really like a typical Rock Nation girl. You know what I'm saying? She's still a little like, you know, a little like what? ham hocks and hush puppies and shit like that. And Jay's real like- um, What does that mean, ham hocks and hush puppies? He's real like, ultra glow fucking ethnic rhino you know what i'm saying like french femininity kind of whatever like very new york so to speak mm. and i have a theory as to why he's dealing with megan because i don't think he i don't think i don't think he likes her music i really don't think oh, jay really likes meg's music I don't think he thinks she's that attractive, really. Interesting. Listen. But I think... Does he really need to think that she's that attractive if she's not trying to... Like, she's not consumption for him? That's for the audience. So does he really need to think that she is attractive? I mean, unless you're trying to compare her to the, to Rihanna or something like that. And like, what? Where? where um, let me see where she going with this. That Jay is eyeing. He's he's eyeing some like something with sports in Texas. He is. So he's got like Texas sweetheart, you know. And then he's gonna have like fucking Meg and hotties. She's gonna be like the fucking like cheerleader for the fucking <laughs> football league or whatever the fuck he's plotting. Like, because I mean. But does he really need that? Like, does he does need he her for that? Like, just, like, be realistic. She's got some cool songs. In fact, I liked her sound a lot more when she was with 1501. Mm. I think that they had the sauce for her. I don't think Jay really knows what to do. Well, I think that, and for me, y'all correct me, right? I don't, I feel like there was a period where she wasn't really working with Juju on the beat. I feel like she stopped working. Like, Juju, to me, knows her sound. Juju 
on the track, whatever his name is, um, and if the beat live, you know, little Juvet, him. I think he knows her sound. I feel like she may have went and tried and worked with some other artists, which could lend this point to Azalea saying that I don't think Jay-Z really knew what to do or what to do. Now that she kind of like independent in a sense, you know, she probably can call the shots a bit more on who she works with. Um, and I don't know if she, because of her contract situation, she probably took a break with Juju on the beat. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, but it seems like she's back to working with him. And then, you know, a lot of artists don't want to always keep the same sound. They want to, you know, be able to evolve, you know. Um, so those are, those are my thoughts on it. Not discrediting saying that Azalea Banks is completely wrong, though. But, um... I think she has a point that they might not have known what to do, but I also think that, you know, Megan stopped working with Juju for a minute. And he it's kind of becoming sound, not 15 or one. Really they didn't even know what the hell they was doing. obvious that he doesn't know what to do. Because, I mean, we're not stupid. Like, where, where did this witness come from all of a fucking sudden? You know, like, people have been talking about this for, like, three years, and all of a sudden there's just, like, this random witness. Like That's what WAC 100 okay. said, and I don't so, believe that. You know, we but get the, 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 the Rihanna stimulus the package video. here with Meg Thee Stallion, except Meg doesn't know how to shut up, you know, and stop. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to. What did she say? A Rihanna stimulus package. Let me go back. Here with Meg Thee Stallion. You know, we get the, 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 the Rihanna stimulus package here with Meg Thee Stallion, except Meg doesn't know how to shut up. So that sounds similar to Nikki trying to say that Megan wanted a Rihanna moment. And it's like, girl, Rihanna didn't even want her that moment. So what are you trying to say about the the Rihanna stimulus package? Because to me, how I'm digesting that is that you're trying to say something similar to what um, Nikki was saying. But and then you're saying that Megan don't know how to shut up. What do you mean? She was quiet all last year. Like, what do you mean she doesn't know how to shut up? And then also social media is at a different place now than it was then with the Rihanna situation. So if you feel like Megan is more loud, which I disagree with, um, maybe Rihanna wasn't as loud because we didn't have it like that. I mean, yeah, we had Twitter and stuff, but not like no Instagram. I think that could have been beginning stages or whatever. But girl, what? I don't think that Megan did. I think the fans did more talking about the situation and trying to decide on whether Tory was innocent, not innocent, whether he did it or Kelsey did it or whatever. Like, I don't think Megan has really done a whole lot for you to say she don't know how to shut up. What do you mean? Like, you know, and stop fucking talking about it and like, just do it. I really do think that mm -hmm. Megan's going to be like a shit stain on Jay-Z's career. <laughs> I like, I, so, I really do think we'll that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and I say that with all due respect. Mm -hmm. um, but Nikki is just mad that because she wants to be a fucking Rock Nation girl, you know? Like, she, there's no Wayne around. There's no Drake. Yeah, she feels really vulnerable. Really vulnerable. And she is vulnerable mm -hmm. um, because she's valuable. And she's kind of just been, like, left in the wild. And all of these white music execs are staging, you know, they're, they're just like, st they're just fucking eating her piece of the pie. Mm. Um, and I've said that time and time again, like, bitch, stop fucking arguing with, the, with these girls because it's not about these girls. It's about the white men behind them that want to eat your food. Like, it's, it's not about Doja. It's not about Cardi. It's about Lucas Gottswald and fucking Craig Kalman. Those are the two niggas that you need to be fucking, like, worried about. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, she wants the protection of a rock nation. She wants the organization. She wants the organization and the prestige and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Nikki thinks her light skin card bangs as hard as like Beyonce's does. I gotta look and those names as hard up as Rihanna's did, about. but it never banged them. Like it was, it was like never that. It was never that. Like it was never that. So Azalea, you got me thinking. 
I think you're right. I think it has nothing to do with these girls. Um, I think you may have a point about the white execs. But now it makes me think about when Nikki talks about the machine coming up against her. And it's like, could the machine be her own team coming up against her versus these other ladies team coming up against her? That's why I want to look up those names. Didn't quite catch them on my play it again in the um, playback and see if I can grab those names so that I can like see who the hell are they and who, who do they represent? What exactly is she talking about? And I think that um, even girls like like Doja, like Doja's like, Doja's really pretty, you know what I'm saying? And she's like actually light skin, like her light skin card like hits. And Cardi's Latina, like her light skin card just kind of hits by default. And you know, for for some time, Nikki was like feeling her little light skinnedness, but she got reminded very quickly. Mm. So yeah, just this kind of like false sense of superiority that she awarded herself on the back of just lobbing all sorts of anti-black shit at Little Kim, despite never ever being a better rapper than Little Kim. Like, oh, I'm sorry, hip hop, you guys are fucking out of your mind. You're out of your mind. If you, <laughs> Nikki is not the queen of rap. No. She, like, y'all better listen to that nine record. Y'all better listen to that fucking nine. Can I just say that, and yeah, I, I think we need to be clear on what does queen, what, when one is labeled queen of rap, what are we talking about exactly? I think queen of rap means something different to everybody. Um, and I, and it sounds like Azalea is going off of bars. That's why she's like, Nikki's not a better rapper than Kim. Therefore, you're not a queen of rap. But some people are going off of accolades. And based on what all Nikki has achieved during her time frame, a lot of people feel like she is the queen of rap. I know when I mentioned that Nikki's the queen of rap, I was more so speaking about the things that she's been able to achieve in the industry, you know, um, which is why where I would think that that um, confidence, that overly, overly confident like that's where it came from is what she's been able to achieve but it sounded like azalea was like girl you put your you put yourself higher up on a pedestal because you were lighter skinned okay you've been out here spewing this anti-blackness and she, girl you thought you was better than um so i don't y'all let me know y'all thoughts about that and when it comes to queen of rap like how do you decide or determine a person being queen of rap is it by way of bars is it by way of accolades like what is it record Nikki could never, she could never be that hard. She could never be that like, like little Kim just like, mm. little Kim is the best. I, I think little Kim is the best rapper of all time. I think she's better than Jay-Z. Mm. Yes. Because little Kim has style. She has, um, she, she has theater. She has just personality. She has performance. She has everything. Also, don't get me wrong. I do love I love a lot of Jay-Z's music, but Lil' Kim is just a better artist than he is. And she's a better product than he is. She's a better... Yeah, just the way she shapes her vowels and just her use of air and everything, like... Yeah, here's the, the theater kid in me. Like, I'm paying attention to shit like that. Jay-Z... He, he doesn't have as much color as she does he doesn't have as much variety as she does little kim is the goat it's not jay-z oh my it's little kim. Oh, oh but yeah um nikki's mad nikki's mad and you know she, her her shit is is unorganized and she just doesn't know what to do and Yeah, it's 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 pretty clear that Nikki's fucked up. Like she's she's like fucked up financially, you know. Um, That's what it looked like. <laughs> According to the I realized it when she was fucking media. frying the can of cream corn in the Teflon pan. I was just like, what in the welfare is happening right now? This is insane. Um, and whatever. I've probably like <laughs> made some fucking crazy looking shit on here, but I'm also not 
going around trying to like menace other artists and like call them broke and tell them to pay their rent and all that other shit like that like you can tell just by whatever keeps happening with Nikki's butt that she's fucked up right now because there's something very fucking wrong with the butt Uh and I don't know what it is but I, I do know that I know she that great, surgery she? to get that shit out of there is a pretty penny. Mm. It's not like you know a oh, boob no, reduction or like switching out for a new pair of a new pair of bags. It's not like uh, of course. K. Michelle broke down, and it's crazy because K. Michelle and Nikki are not like really cool because of that whole um, what was it? Who want to buy a heart? Something dealing with Meek Mill. She was supposed to get the song. And then Nikki came and was like, nope, I want the song. Anybody want to buy a heart? I can't remember what it was. But um, Nikki pretty much slighted her. I guess she thought that K. Michelle may have wanted Meek Mill at the time. Whatever. They got a, they got their own issues. And I hate that because I'm like, girl, you need to go over there and K. Michelle and talk, talk to her to find out what she did to get this shit out of her ass. Hello? And that inspired K. Michelle to go on and do a show with Lifetime where she talk about people that get these botched surgeries and having to, you know, get stuff redone with the proper surgeon. OK, because they was going down to folks basements getting this shit done. Tragic, 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 tragic. I hate it so much. I know Nikki regrets that. I know that she regrets that child. It's not like a rhinoplasty. No, it's I know that that procedure Especially. Because I know, like, with, with K. Michelle, I think K. Michelle said this happened to her, or maybe somebody on her show. I guess there are, like, tiny little beads or something that a person, like, silicone beads or something, something, ha- like, that they pumped into this person's butt. And I guess, like, as life goes on, those little beads or something, they spread throughout different parts of your body. So it's hard when they're trying to do the surgery to actually find where they are and pull them out or something like that. And she had to undergo multiple surgeries on that. Ad. Girl, who I I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Come on, Jocelyn. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Girl, I cannot imagine what y'all uh, laid down to go through to get it and what you would have to do to lay down to get it out. Girl, listen. Mm-mm. Like, ugh, just considering, like, ugh, like you know, just how many fucking little pockets of just migrated stuff there probably right. is. That's like, what yeah, Kay that's was a very saying. tedious thing. Yes, that's what Kay said. And it's also like a very risky procedure. Yep. That she can't afford to have right now. Mm, 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 and mm, mm, I mean, mm, mm. and I believe Nikki probably would have that because she did get her breasts reduced, which you know looked great on her. But then I don't know, would she, out of fear of what she might look like after? Maybe she wouldn't. I don't know. And then it does lead me to question: Could that be why she, when she's on stage, she might sit down or she might lay down, lay on her stomach, kicking her legs up, and you know? only rapping some of her lyrics and then letting the audience do it. Like, I'm wondering, does that have anything to do with it because of what's going on with her butt or whatever? Like, that's, I hate that. I really do. I can't, I'm I'm not one to talk, you know? I will fucking, I will be Miss Bussy until the end of fucking time, okay? And that's that on that. I will be Miss Chibi until the end of time. But an artist of her stature... Peddling press on nails. So I I do a lot of sourcing and a lot of like, yeah, all day, all day. Sourcing agents, direct factory, whatever, whatever. I see what the um, price on these things are. And it just, it doesn't add up, you know? Girl. Considering the number of streams and just doing a royalty calculation it's like something something is just really not adding up um i don't i don't believe the lie that she's not doing videos because she wants everyone to 
Listen, I can because with some of the paperwork that was out about Nikki, it looks like they were saying that a lot of the the sync, like, you know, when you get your music synced, whether it's in movies, TV shows, commercials, or whatever, she has debt, allegedly, that uh, the money she makes from those sync opportunities or whatever are supposed to go to the debtors. So when she mentioned the nail line and I was talking about, I was talking about this with you guys um, a few days ago and I was like, uh, I don't know about the nails or whatever. Maybe that's cool. Maybe that's cute. And now I'm thinking about the money that she probably ain't got. It's definitely given when I saw her talk about the press songs, when she showed that it, it's giving like a pop-up type throw together type, like, Something us regular degular people might do, not so much as somebody from her, her on her level might do. But then I was like, well, maybe she'll get it in like Macy's and other store, or well, not really Macy's, but maybe she'll get it in like Target or something like that. These other stores, and maybe that could be profitable for her. But I saw a few of you guys get down in the comments and was like, no, her doing these nails actually doesn't make sense. I don't know Nikki for no nails. I know Nikki because of her music, this, that, that, and the other. Not that she. It doesn't fit with the brand or something. I was like, whoa, okay. Well, I thought it could possibly since she got the perfume or whatever, but y'all was like not here for it. Um, and hearing her talk about this, it's just real interesting, girl. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Focus on the music. If you wanted us to focus on the music, you would not be like beefing with Meg Thee Stallion. <laughs> because I've also like, trust me, like, I have been, you know, making my own shit on my own dime, and I know what it's like. Like, I, I, I know what limited budget looks like. I'm just being honest. Like, I know what it, what it, what it gives. Like, yeah, cartoon cover art. Like, uh, <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> not cartoon <laughs> cover art. Fuck it up. <laughs> oh shit! Sometimes we gotta do what the fuck we gotta do. You know, but. Just be honest about that. I think that's more... I think that's a lot cooler. Bitch, listen. Azalea is getting into some things with this piece right here. For me. Girl, this is... Because I didn't understand. Like, Well, I felt like Gag City was smart. From a perspective of a person that did not want to spend any money. Create the Gag City... And she has such a big fan base that they're going to create the world around her. They're going to create these images. They're going to do this. They're going to get on, you know, these different AI sites that's going to be able to create this stuff and just drop it and da 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 da. And that's what they did. And try, I can't, she let y'all pretty much promote it. And I think that that was smart if you are limited on money and you mean to tell me that your songs are going number one or whatever it is you're saying, and this hit number one, and you won't have no music video. And I feel like the fans chose the, the number one songs. I feel like everybody was one of them. And I think if the club up was one, those were like two songs that should have had a music video, at least to it. And you still have not done a music video. And it does make one question is Republic not dishing out any more money to do the music videos or what okay then i think somebody was talking about her doing this tour was for her to recoup no no, no. i think that was ken barbie was it ken barbie somebody was saying she was doing this for free because she owes so many people money child i was like whoa this is a lot <laughs> like just be honest about it and just go all the way lo-fi you know because I definitely noticed it wasn't until your album drops that somebody put some money up for a stylist for you to rent clothes from brands that really don't want you in their shit. Oh, I hate that she does that. I hate that she fucking does that. Damn it. But again, it's like, okay, so even even though if Kanye did do the Barbie Yeezy, it would have it would have been the biggest selling Yeezy ever and he probably would have got a seat on the board at Adidas. She just has this like stank thin like stankness about her. That's just like Yeah, it's like hot sauce and spit kind of earring backs kind of just like 
Ugh, I always think about that fucking photo with the cheese on the back of the fucking teeth. You know, um... It gives, like, aim toothpaste, like, cinnamon toothpaste. <laughs> like... What? Just, like... Stinky. Like, a little smelly. Yeah... I mean, even even like choosing the sky as a, ugh. it just smells like the hood, you oh, know. It just smells like the fucking hood. Like it just smells like blackjack roach spray and fucking like dipsy doodles and shit. And just to round this out, um, yes, saying anything about Megan's mother is. Is is it is not even that it's too far, it's just disgusting. Mm -hmm. And what say you about you being a mother and being an obvious drug addict and like yeah, like like what like <laughs> like you you're trying to like make fun of Megan's mother, but like what if we made fun of Papa Bear? Like, oh yeah, your mom's like a fucking like dope fiend. <laughs> your mom's a dope fiend, and your father's a rapist. Like, whoa, how would that? How would you feel, ma'am? You wouldn't. Yeah, it's just it's incorrect. Like, I would feel real stupid if I were Nicki Minaj. Just even prefacing any statement towards anyone with how you win three Grammys. And like, I, I would just feel stupid. This is how you know that this is not even about, it's not even about Megan. It's not even about like any of the shit she says it's about. Like that's how a woman behaves when she's like blind, like just like blind jealousy, you know, and just like can't get her way. You know what I'm saying? Or when she feels so inadequate like nikki has slipped so below like so far below jay-z's standards it makes her like crazy i mean for real in all honesty husband? like um i guess she almost like see this 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 is why i I don't no, I don't I don't I don't like place bets on my pussy, you know what I'm saying? Like the pussy likes what the or who the pussy likes and I can't control that. I'll be dating some funny looking niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to be like all like, oh yeah, well these niggas are mother blah, 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 whatever, whatever. No. Cause that's not true. And that's not even what I want to Leave as like my life's legacy, but no, Nikki, like you'd be like lying on your pussy, like you'd be lying on your pussy, OD, you'd be fucking like trash niggas, like you'd be fucking like some really trash niggas, yuck. And that's another reason why you couldn't possibly be the queen of rap. Like the last two major beefs she's had have hinged on Nikki trying to sexually like embarrass the opponent like it was like like with cardi and the herpes and like with meg and mm. whatever the fuck but it's just like sis the cornerstone of female rap is se like it, it's sex and glamour two things you are like seriously lacking in Ooh. like you're you're like lacking like lacking hard you know what i'm saying you're not even like in shape and kind of just like, you know, oh yeah, I'm just like wearing what I want, blah, blah, blah. Like, I've never seen you eat a salad. Like, I've never seen this woman eat a salad. That's not nice. Just because you ain't yeah, seen it nah, don't mean she you, ain't doing it. You, you are like way too, like your face be in these bitches pussy so fucking much. Like, what? What are you, like, what are you talking about? Fucked her mother's boyfriend, like, okay. 
ill. Like, first off, first the fuck off. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't even say something like that out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, I couldn't say that. Whether it's true or not, I could not say that. Um, that's just an L for the person saying that. That's crazy. Because, I mean, from what it looks like, it looks like you fucked your brother or your brother was fucking on you or something. Because I swear that rush to defend your brother and all that money you put up, that was, that was panic. You were panicking. You were panicking and scared that some sort of family secret was going to get out. 110,000 million trillion percent. You were panicking about a family secret getting out. Like, why is there just so much to do with children and sex and, like, just children and, like, criminal shit around you? Oh, my God. Like, sis... You better, you better chill before they, like, hit you with a fucking recall. Like, you'd be sending these kids out here to, like, harass other celebrities and, like, steal clothes and do all kind of shit like that. Like, you're weird. Whoa, baby. You're really fucking weird. <laughs> you're a weird-ass bitch. <laughs> and just to oh, be no. completely fucking transparent, like, she keeps talking about the SWAT, the this, the that, you know. Um, just the, the way she's acting, like, it's just, like, Something happens, something happens, like something happened. I feel like the kid got taken away and like maybe her mother has custody of the kid or something like that. Yeah, like 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 the mom had to take the kid because they probably like ran up in there and found some shit, saw some shit. Or oh. even just the way you be acting, sis, like you better be careful on that fucking tour because honestly, sis, if I was you, I would just cancel the tour. Cause you're not you you're not in any condition to like be in other countries, you know. There there are countries where that shit is is mad illegal. And if you get searched like this, for real, there's no way in hell. I would, like you, you like I wouldn't even suggest that you try and cold turkey yourself. Um, eat not like. You you can tell she's on it so bad that she can't miss a day. Like, she cannot miss a day. Or she's going to fucking, like... She's going to, like, go into, like, full seizure. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, like... Wow. Yeah, I, I also wouldn't be, like, trying to, like, menace a Rock Nation artist while I'm about to go on a <laughs> Live Nation tour. That just isn't... Mm. I also wouldn't be, like, talking shit about, like, Desiree Perez. <laughs> Ooh, you better watch that landmine there, sis. Wow. Because, um, yeah, wild. you are, you are just, like, a house of cards waiting to collapse. Nah, sis might be really about to step into some fucked up kind of, like, some fucked up kind of just torture just like some fucked up, like torturous fucking like withdrawal where she's like fucking like grabbing, like, you know, like trying to like, like, like hold on to her soul for fucking dear life. Like, look how, look how stacked those dates are. And it's like, she's hopping borders like almost every other day. And yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta go do TSA every fucking other day and you're gonna get searched because all of this behavior that you have right now or that all the shit you're doing like you're gonna get thoroughly searched mm -hmm. if anyone on your fucking crew is found with anything y'all are getting locked up so there's like this fucking conundrum like yo this this shit that's so scary it's so scary nah this is like the point in time where like stan culture gets real fucking like scary and toxic i'm really happy that i have like i have real people as fans because i know that if i were if i were exhibiting any kind of behavior like that somebody one of the fucking cons 
would be like at my fucking front door. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all had to fucking put me in fucking rehab, I know y'all fucking would. This is like, y'all would save my life. Y'all would not just sit there and kind of just egg it on. Because, no, really. This, oh, my gosh. This, she got to, no. Nah, not right now. No tour right now. Girl, that was some sh- right there, honey. The last few minutes uh, when she took her face off, really going off and getting into some damn things. Now, Nikki did go over there and hop on the Joe Budden um, Twitter spaces, and she was very adamant that she's never done coke in her life. She said she's willing to do like a hair test. Um, and you know her hair is very fucking long, too. And she says that it can go back a few years to see whether or not she's ever participated in that type of drug. And she says that she never has. And if she did, she says she would have no problem saying that because we're going to check her. Okay, so I don't know what the hell going on. Some people saying, girl, it may not be the COKE, but something is happening over there. All right, you heard Azalea just say that. So I don't know what the fuck is what. But um, I've been giving you guys my thoughts as we've all listened together to Azalea Banks' video. Um, You guys go ahead and continue to hop down, continue the conversation down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about everything Azalea Banks had to say regarding Nicki Minaj, Rock Nation, and Megan the Stallion. All right, that's all that I have for you guys at this time. I am Jamie, that's me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie, that's me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. King of my city in Codesac. Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gooder. We hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef for computers, so straight out the sewer. We come when you rest. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully oppressed. I was ready for years and they doubted me. All of a sudden, they kept me, they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross them out, came back with some batteries. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one?